<laughs> uh, okay. okay, let's do this. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to today's video. If you are returning, thanks for being back. And if you're new, welcome. I what? Missed, I missed a hair. Oh. Okay. Couple hairs. My barber missed a hair. Anyway, I thought it would be a lot of fun to film a video with my husband today. This is my husband, Staten. Hi. Like the island. <laughs> like the island and I've wanted him to film this video with me pretty much since I started my channel I thought it would just be a lot of fun to film a video and talk about how I told him that I was bald and wore wigs and I thought it would be really interesting to get the male perspective on it I guess yeah. part of why I wanted to tell the story was as silly as it is and I know it's just hair but just really quick as a little girl I used to think just because I was bald, which I know, knowing what I know now, this is silly, and I just had a young, impressionable, you know, insecure mind, but I thought that no guy would ever want to date me or love me <laughs> because I was bald. Now as an adult, I know that that's silly and that's not the way- Bald and bougie, people baby. People work, yeah, anyway. So that was part of why I wanted to share this story, just because I thought it could be entertaining, but it could also maybe shed some light or give a little bit of hope to any young girl or boy that is dealing with worrying or having that same worry. Even though I know it's silly now looking back, not to make anyone feel silly for feeling that way because I genuinely had the same feeling, but yeah, I just thought it would be fun to tell the story and show the like opposite sexes side or same sex that's okay too you know hey we're whoever, not knocking whatever it. you want to do mm -hmm. anyway okay so if you're interested in that then keep watching because <laughs> i guess my perspective matters <laughs> i made us some bloody marys yeah this is still a half bronzer half tan line by the way this is a non bronze or non tan line. <laughs> okay, so we should, let's just say, obviously the video is gonna be titled Telling My Husband I'm Bald, but obviously I told him that, be I told him before we got married because I've had alopecia since I was like two years old. Wait, though, let's clear this up. You told me you were bald, but I didn't get to see you bald for We're like... We're gonna tell the story. Oh, okay. okay. So anyway. anyway. So we have been together for almost 10 years now, and um, when we first met, we... What's up? Um, I was 19, and I think he was 23. What does age have to do with I'm it? I'm just giving the background. Oh, okay. We met, and we pretty much started dating right away. We didn't really... Um, I don't know, we just went from we didn't know each other till we were dating, so. Yeah. Um, what can I say? All of my friends knew that it was a big deal for me to talk about wearing a wig, and it was still at that- All of her friends knew, too. At that time, it was something that I was still really Inse shy about and insecure, insecure about. insecure about. And they all just encouraged me to tell him sooner than later, because I would know sooner than later if he was didn't you guys like a call me or, or like text me like I was at work or something like that? So me and, and my I friends, was... it was, if you're watching this, you know who you are, but it was, I'll still say their names. It was Nikki, Taylor, Destiny, and Mel. Yeah. And we were all hanging out at the mall and Staten and I, Five I remember, on one. we'd literally been together for a week. About like seven an or 10 exact, days. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a week. Like oh, exactly. A week. I remember. <laughs> that's the, that's so, the top right there. A week. Um, we had a friend who lived like her house was like on his way home basically. So my friend Nikki was like, call Staten, tell him we're gonna go to Mel's house. We're gonna wait there and he needs to take this certain way home so that he stops, he passes her house. Creepy and by the way. <laughs> so like, they're already plotting this, right? You know what I mean? So Staten, you're gonna have to take the back way, not the normal <laughs> way. Cause we need you to stop off. It somewhere. was still on his way, but it was like a slight, it was like the, it was the back way. It was just a different way home basically. Yeah. So they said, you're going to tell him to stop and then you're going to tell him that you're bald. <laughs> okay. So didn't I like go pick up Justin or whatever? Did, did, did uh -huh. I have someone with me yet? He picked up his friend I had Justin. Tits McGee with me. Okay, we're not going to say Tits McGee. Why not? It's Tits McGee. 
Because. Why not? That's his name. Tits McGee it's not his was with name. us. Yes, it so is. So his friend Justin was living with him at the Her time. Her best so friend. It wasn't my best friend. Well, He's your BFF. We call each other BFFs. This sweater makes my shoulders look like big, look really broad. Oh, this is my Buffering. bald, Buffering big you. shouldered lady. Anyway. Little she so know I was went and picked for your up shoulders. Justin and then stopped at Mel's house. And basically, I took him aside and. Um, <coughs> no all corona. Of, all of my friends were standing there waiting. Um, they were like 10 feet away, probably. I don't know, but they were all. Are you kidding me? They were like waiting. Destiny was scarier than shit. They She's were all like looking at me. Waiting to like attack him if he said anything rude or hurt, hurt my feelings or made me feel bad. I think how it was, I actually pulled in and I literally like looked over at Justin and go, this isn't good. Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Because I only met her a week ago. Like, what are they going to tell me? And if I'm not mistaken, Justin knew about it. Justin so Justin knew. really is a good BFF. I met this wonderful girl who was beautiful as heck. And I remember like, I technically like did not know that she wore wigs, couldn't tell, uh, didn't think anything different, didn't think anything of it. And I remember pulling into uh, Mel's place and uh, like we're rolling the El Camino, turn down the music. And like, <laughs> there's like four girls kind of just lined up. And um, so. So anyway. You pull up to Mel's house. Skirt! <laughs> and put it in park. So basically, we didn't waste any time. I took him aside, like, right away. Well, it was weird, because I got out, and it's like... Well, I think I had told you, like, I have uh, something to tell yeah. you. Yeah. I was like, I have to tell you something. And he was like... He was like, do you have, like, an extra toe? Or... I said... A I set think, of balls? Yeah, because I said... He asked yeah. me. He said... He kept like thinking I had like something extra, like an extra either toe extra or an or extra like, belly button. Or something. I mean, I didn't see a ring on it. Is she married? Like, what's going on here? So then I, I remember distinctly saying, "No." We were like walking down the road, like away from everyone. No, I think we were just standing no. We were like away from everyone. Well, we, we walked for a little away. Walk. Yeah. And I said, walk. "No." I remember saying it's more like something I don't have. And then you looked really confused. <laughs> And then I don't remember exactly what I said. I think I just said, I wear, I don't have hair because I have alopecia. Yeah. And I think I said it's not contagious because <laughs> I always worry that people will think they're, you know, it's contagious and their hair is going to fall out if they hang out with me. But, and then um, I remember you being like, that's a wig? And I was wearing a locks of love at the time. But I just remember you security being, wig. you like didn't believe me or you were like really shocked. I don't, I honestly feel like I remember up until the moment I told you, but actually telling you for some reason is a little bit of a blur. Hmm. Like okay. I don't remember exactly what I said or exactly what you said. And then I, didn't I say like, that's it? I just know that you were really sick. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was like. You were like, that's it? That's it? Like that's what this whole meeting. <sighs> you guys, I was like, I dodged a bullet on this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you said. I remember that now. And I just remember, like, the moment he said, like, that's it, I was like, why was this such a big deal? Like, just, like, this a huge weight was lifted, and I was like, yeah, that's it. Like, I guess... The next thing was, was trying to be able to get to see that ball <laughs> yeah. beauty. Yeah, so do you want to tell them <laughs> what, you about mean, that journey? You mean Kaylin at the day and Rhonda at night? Sure. Because you guys... So just because I told him, it didn't mean I was ready to show him my head. Exactly. My and eye. what else is funny about it is... <sighs> Struggle um, of having no freaking... I guess I barely already, any lashes as you get stuff in your eye all the time. I already pulled off some. Okay. So okay. what's kind of funny is... Well, we moved in together. Well, that too. But like when she quick. would come um, stay the night. Oh, yeah. Or when I would, you know, hang out. And I'd try to show her I could cook. The thing is, like a locks of love is something that you can sleep in. But, so I just, I slept in it. I showered yeah, in it. Yeah, slept but, in but, it. but, but, she had extra baggage is, is what I'm trying to say. And what I mean is she had this little purse that carried her wig that she wore at night. And it would just be so oh, funny because yeah, she would have her <laughs> dark locks of love, uh, like way down. And then she had her older locks of love. I feel like I'm the only one drinking my drink. Is, <laughs> I look like the Alki over here just sipping oh, my drink. She's okay. So I still had my old locks of love that I had still had when I got my new one that I didn't, um, it, I'd already had my new one and that one wasn't going to get repaired and it already was like a little damaged. So it was okay if I slept in it and showered in it and everything. So, yeah, 
Um, I would sleep in that one, and then so I would wear the other. So when Fortune come to bed, it was just funny. Like, we always named that one Rhonda because it was red, so red Rhonda. And then I had a lot of stuff to work through at the time. Yeah, she did. I Let me tell do. you guys. But no, it was literally like we lived together. Okay, that was, was so and funny. I like, show you yeah, like head. first six months, and then lived together, and then um, actually got our own place together. I think it was like, and it was, we moved in together moved after in like together. eight months of dating, and then I still think we lived together for... About three mm, months? I guess like three or four months, yeah. Because like it took that. a year. No, because... Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it like around December, like wintertime? For some reason, we were laying in bed, and I don't even remember why it came up, but I think he finally was like, you know, like... We already said I love you, like we lived together, we already kind of knew that, like we Plus, saw... Plus every night she has to go... Change into the nighttime and, wig. And How funny thing is, is I mean... It's so weird to think about. Like look at, I look like a shallow guy, right? But I'm really not. Why do you look shallow? How do you define know. shallow? Just because you're so good looking, you I look mean, shallow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like, uh, I love people for who they are, and... Um, I mean, that's just one more thing she had to do. And I was really curious to see what that bald head looked like underneath <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Look at this thing. This thing is one beautiful little egg. Well, we were laying oh, in bed go, 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 go. one night, and I remember it, like, came up, and even I kind of knew, like, okay, I need to just show him my head. Like, this is who I am. It's me, like, in my natural, natural state. form, state. I don't know, just... Um, mm -hmm. And I remember we kept we kept saying, okay, we both closed our eyes, and I had my wig on, <laughs> and I was gonna go one, two, three, and he was gonna open his eyes on three, and I was gonna take my wig off, and what? I think we counted to three like six times before I finally took it off. We actually even went and took a shot, I think. No, that was after. Oh. You're getting ahead of yourself. Shit. So finally, the time came. Where I was like one, two, three, and I like took it off, and he opened his eyes. I was like, put it back on. <laughs> anyway, and no, actually, it didn't change her beauty at all. Some of these memories are a blur a little bit. I know, but I think he said, "Let's go take a shot," and I was like, "I did." Okay, and we literally went into our kitchen and we took a celebratory shot that yep. I finally took my wig off in yep. front of him. We sure did, and I that's was like, "See, that's not it. so bad, was it, honey?" And then, not gonna lie, she can't come in the house even three seconds, and this thing is off like. Mm-hmm. Bra on a Friday night. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's that pretty was cute. took pretty Funny thing is though, guys and gals, she used to have a little ponytail right here. <laughs> no, there is no ponytail now, so nothing to grab here. And she has the most sensitive little hair. You could just grab her little hairs and she gets so mad because at you. Because it hurts. Really yeah, bad. I guess it really hurts, but why are you trying to grab him? You just shaved okay. it. I know. I, I already have five o'clock shadow, but he yeah. sh he shaved it. He gave me a haircut. Yeah. Oh, there's one hair we missed. A couple. Aww. Okay, anything, so like I have a couple things. So a couple things are is it was always I have three right off the top of my three. One, two, <laughs> three. I didn't marry him because I can not think of. And these are the three. One, I was working out of town and one of my good neighbors. Oh my god. Scott Burback. Um when I got home on like a Friday, I, I got home early and then so I slept and he called me like Friday evening and he's like, hey, he's like, listen, <laughs> and this you forgot about we this, put on but here. it's hilarious. So he goes, he just, he, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no you please. You might say it better because I was just going to say like, I would, our kitchen was at the front of our house and I had the blinds open a lot and I didn't have my wig on at night and it was obviously like not the best. So I was it gone during the week working. And it wasn't the best view from the sidewalk into the kitchen because we had this big or Japanese. Or even their side because they're next to us. We had a big Japanese, no that blind was always shut. So he, oh, he but we had a really creeping. big Japanese maple tree in front of our window too that kind of like obscured, there we go. It kind of like obscured the view a little bit too. Oh, sorry. Anyway, um, so he saw me like so he, he saw must have saw her the bald, and he called me on Friday because Kaylin had been you know home during the week and I was up in Washington and and it was hilarious because he's like hey I gotta tell you something and like brother to brother like I'm just looking out he's like there's been someone in your house <laughs> and I'm like really H how bad is it. And he was like, real bad. 
Dude, there's a bald dude in your house. <laughs> I don't look like a dude, for the record. Obviously. But anyway, it, it was he pretty didn't have funny. A good, it wasn't a good view. Well, because, you know, he's probably, like, trying to be, like, all sneaky yeah. and, like, you know, her, the, okay, the, so it's shining off said... the top of her head. And I was like, yeah, so that's my wife. Or actually, it was my fiance at the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's my fiance. Mm -hmm. And I got Ah, for fiance. Um, the thing was, is I actually was a little offended by it. For one, I was a little offended. Who the fuck are you to be looking in my window? We don't curse. Oh well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know. Okay, for okay. two, it's not peachy. That's my wife you're talking about. And three, uh, I wasn't your wife. Oh, don't say. <laughs> three, I don't think she would do that. So. Anyway, it was just like, no, I corrected it, and then all of a sudden he was like... What was funny was... Foot in mouth. <laughs> what's the funniest part was, though, he actually knew already. He did. So he must but have, he like, didn't... forgot. Yeah, yeah. Or he's... <laughs> a little too much luck about him. But, uh... <laughs> okay, so that's number one. And then that number was two was, um... <laughs> <laughs> what? So me and Kaylin, how we connect together in many ways, one of them would be food. Oh, that was like and, me out. And we loved um, we do like Chinese to, we happiness. Do like oh, yeah. And I am the biggest slime ball, sleazy American dude coming in with a different girlfriend every week. Every Friday. Friday and sometimes Sunday because no, it was so we had our favorite Chinese restaurant like when we lived up in Portland. Two forty, and we used to go like every Friday. And, and I would switch up my wigs. I would go from like the short blonde one to a long brunette one, and I would just totally switch it up. And um, I just noticed. Plus, we were all smitten with each other and because we were, I'd be gone we all week. We were still so. like engaged and all. Oh, we just love, loved so. each other. Oh, watch it. Um. Yeah, and he was working out of town during the day a lot at the time. Uh, so it was like when he would, um, or the whole week, I meant to say. but um, Or he would work nights, and so our schedules, mm -hmm. and we just, we didn't see each other as much. So like come Friday when it was finally the weekend, it was like our special night, and we actually missed each other. So we were sweet to each other. Yeah, go right. to dinner. But it was so funny because I finally noticed one night the waitress like looked at me really closely, and like she finally put two and two together that he wasn't bringing a different girl It's about six dinner. weeks. Every Friday. Yeah. It was just... It was actually really funny. Yeah. I was like, God, they think you are and a then, pig. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, they'd be nice at first, and all of a sudden, they'd, like, have this, like, this nasty attitude. Anyway, that was pretty funny. So, that's number Which two. Which is really funny, because I don't think you look that different. Your face looks the same in different wigs. I don't get why. I don't but know. But it was kind of dark in there. Yeah. Anyway, it was really good food, though. Number three. I used to be uh, kind of weirded out, because... At the beginning, all of a sudden, like, when it was cool to go topless and everything, hi, neighbors, <laughs> as they roll by We're our in house. in front of our window. Yeah, our house is for sale, and everyone keeps trying to grab flyers and everything Nosy else. Really neighbors. Annoying. Yeah. Anyway, uh, number three was, and now I'm used to it, so it's probably just, like, my underwear laying on the bathroom floor, but I'm telling you, it can't even be, like, 30 seconds, and this girl... <laughs> And so it's just kind of funny, like number three, like that was something to get used to. Um, yeah. Like, okay, like I can't like throw my stuff all over the island, but like. I don't throw my wig on the island. You don't. It just kind of throws wherever it lands. Really. No, I take it to the bedroom. I have seen it multiple put times my wig this away. week on the kitchen I counter. leave it on the counter when I don't know if you're going to have someone randomly show up. And come True. over, and I'm gonna put my wig True. on. Anyway, which that would also be a, something to work through is not feeling like I have to wear my wig when if people stop by and let they. Keep yeah, and me. that's still pretty hard for her, but then other people are like, "Why don't you just go bald all the time?" <laughs> I mean, look at her. <laughs> so that was the story of how I told him, and then how I showed him my head for the first time, and how long it took. So. If you're still in that situation, just know that if the person doesn't react in a kind way or a loving way, or if it changes how they feel about you, then... Just kidding. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and maybe you got something out of our little story. I don't know if it was even entertaining, um, but I just wanted to share it with you guys, and I thought it might be helpful to some. So, um... So subscribe for more videos. Um, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.
Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Why are you already laughing? Yeah, that looks so funny on okay, the Okay, stop. This is Ron Burgundy. Okay. Pinky's out. Are you ready? I need ready? more pickle. No. No, to eat with it. Oh. Sometimes they come off the Q-tip. A Q-tip? I mean, <laughs> I mean. Or a uh, Q-tip. I don't feel awkward when I film by myself. <laughs> Hey, Dina! <laughs> you look like William Wallace. Bring I am her. William Wallace. See, kids, wigs are fun. Okay. 